Good morning, everybody. Richard Strang from the UK. Just going to go over the latest altcoin news. What's happened the last week? Stuff that's interested me. Um, on Coin Telegraph, there's been a lot of rumours on other sites. Also, Coin Telegraph stated that rumours about PayPal. Um, now, if PayPal do ever accept buying and selling of cryptocurrencies, this will take obviously crypto to many other levels. To me personally, the day when PayPal allows people to buy stuff with um, cryptocurrency, it'll take it way beyond the trillion dollar market cap. I think this is the worldwide adoption everyone wants to see. We all know obviously how big PayPal is. Imagine just being able to use cryptocurrencies to buy on eBay, for example. It's just a whole new world, plus everything else that PayPal allows you to use it for. So, um, basically, this report suggested that the online Payments giant plans to allow hundreds of millions of users to buy and sell crypto directly, but they're only just rumours. Got to clarify that it's not definite. Um, paper states there, paper is yet to confirm whether the reports are true, but if they are true, it could be a landmark moment in Bitcoin's quest to go mainstream. Totally agree with that. So let's just see what happens. But obviously, if PayPal did allow people to buy and sell crypto, it'd bring in the masses, the people who've been dubious, they have to get started, it open people's eyes to what cryptocurrency is. And they say that's the worldwide adoption we've all been waiting for, really. That would be the biggest news of 2020, I think. Um, disappointing news since the weekend was troubled debit card issue, a wire card files for insolvency. Reading between the lines, it looks like it was a Ponzi scheme. It's a troubled, state said, a troubled fintech company which recently discovered 2.1 billion hole in its finances has opened insolvency proceedings. The CEO's been arrested on suspicion of falsifying the embattled firm's accounts. And... Wirecard's demise has already affected crypto card users and, and the subsidiary responsible for issuing these debit cards has been suspended by the UK FCA, Financial Conduct Authority, and it's affected Crypto.com, which I know I've mentioned many times before. It's been a fantastic card. It worked perfect till last week. Really disappointing. Um, you go on their tweets. Um, it's got there for all Europe, UK, MCO, Visa cards. All credits have been processed successfully to car holders crypto wallets equivalent to the fiat balance held on the card so everyone's assets are safe you know it crypto.com is a fantastic exchange obviously having the debit card has taken it really high up the charts and many many people i know use the exchange as well as have the debit card so it's really disappointing as someone once said to me it's probably a drop stitch in life's tapestry should we say it's an old saying but it's just a general very disappointing news, but because it is such a huge project, because it's got so many customers, it's only a matter of time that they get another issuer and we'll all get the cards again to work in Europe and the UK. In America, it's fine. It's just really disappointing that this company, Wirecard, and Crypto.com use, have basically, basically it sounds like they're getting done for fraud and falsifying their accounts. So the cards don't work at the moment. My Wirex card still works when I tried it on Friday, so I haven't tried it since, but got no reason why it doesn't so I need to check up on that but it's very disappointing when a debit card doesn't work however it's just a short-term problem um, positive news when you go on crypto.com they've got their fourth anniversary um, which is amazing how quick that's gone past to be honest but they're giving away states there basically if you go on their site um, 20 hours and they're giving away 2 million USD Basically, American dollars worth of Bitcoin discount levels 50% off. Minimum contribution is only 300 crow. Now, crow's about just under 12 cents, and you've only got a stake basically 300 crow to get your Bitcoin at half price. Maximum subscribers is 25,000. So, it's got down there the anniversary special timeline. It's got there the 30th of June, the 6 a.m. UTC subscription begins. So, basically, 6 a.m. British time. So, first thing in the morning, I'll be up try and get my bitcoin at half price i'm not i've mentioned before i'm not a massive bitcoin person i did have when i first started with 2016 2017 over the last sort of year or so i've really gone towards the altcoins so i hardly hold any bitcoin now i'm purely altcoin driven should we say and i've mentioned many times before my favorites i hold very very minimal bitcoin now but this to me getting it 50 percent off will allow me to go on their exchange and get some of my favorite projects because they do hold many listings on their exchange it's fantastic it place crypto.com there is a link below if you want to sign up to crypto crypto.com it's also a link there for the card when the new issue is released so just keep yourselves open follow them on twitter i'm very it'll be new soon based on the new issue i'm sure they're talking to companies now any company that does these cards will be like wow crypto crypto.com has such a huge team behind it it also has so many customers that they'd all want to jump on board i'm sure so 
very disappointing news, but hey, let's just think forwardly and they'll get a new issue soon. So there we go. Next one on the icon.ist, I've mentioned before, it's an independent site, which is totally dedicated to the icon ICX, which is a project I've mentioned many times. It's my second biggest holding. I absolutely love the project. One bit of news interested me was watch ads and get paid by paywalk. Basically, if you view ads, they're going to pay you in the WOC token. So we block. I've got a token called WOC. So you basically watch adverts and you get rewarded. I'm going to try this. If it's any good, how long you have to spend it each day to get some WOC tokens just for watching some ads, I'll let you know. Um, when I went on CoinMarketCap, to be honest, I'd never heard of the project, let's be honest, but we block WOC, currently ranked 2,538. The price obviously very low, but it does have a 10 billion total supply. That's why the price is so low. 0.00191 so it's you know let's just see hasn't been on coin market cap long since basically april it's full time high isn't much to be honest um it's just something that i'll give it a go end of the day if you get a lot of walk should we say just for watching a few ads if it continuously grows over time it's a nice bit of free money to be honest or free crypto should i say so i'll keep you updated on that um, Crypto Slate, another site they like. They've done an analysis on ADA, my favourite. These three factors could determine the midterm fate of Cardano. We've mentioned Cardano a lot lately. Um, I know I go on about it a lot, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, obviously, this week we've got the summit. I personally believe we're going to get some big, big news. Uh, they've got to really. I think when Charles Hodgkin speaks, he's got to have some big news. As I said before, will it be Coinbase? Will it be a debit card? You know, when's Gronkin being released? Something will be announced which will. It's not financial advice, but I think we're going to have a huge price pump this week in ADA because of the summit, because of the news. Um, again, that's just my personal opinion. Cut down at the moment, it's going between number 10 and number 11 in the charts. It keeps crossing over between that and Crow. Tezos has dropped a bit behind, but more and more, they're catching up with EOS. They really are. And I think if we do get some really big news at the summit, it could catch up EOS, which would be great. I say you should be a fan of EOS. I don't hold EOS anymore. Um, I just thought it was a wonderful project for the future, and I'm sure it still will be. I just personally believe ADA is the one which has got more longevity and the solid roadmap, the one I prefer. Um, anyway, moving on. So another one was Matic Network. Matic, I've held before. I still hold some Matic, not as much as I did before. Um, I did take some profits when a huge price increase. Um, but this news here announced basically yesterday it aims for an 80% token lockup in the new staking program which is incredible and launching stages direct staking will initially be restricted to the Matic Foundation the non-profit behind the Ethereum based scaling solution which will take will stake tokens on users behalf that's what they've basically just announced so um, let's see what that does with the price I think Matic has got longevity I think it's a real solid project I say I still own some Matic, not as much as before. It used to be in my top 20 holdings, not anymore. But I do like the project, and I probably will get some more Matic. So that is good news. That will, again, affect the price if they are going to sort of lock in that much. So get another one to look out for. Coin market cap, biggest gainers and losers. Last seven days, project I haven't really heard of. Exxon, good to see, 273%. That's a project I've briefly looked at. Um, I haven't got any, but it's one I'm going to keep my eye out, and then the week's gone up 273%. So going through the others, there's not many others I've heard. I've talked about NDN Link was a, a, a speculative coin I mentioned on one of my last videos with projects outside the top 2,000 on coin market cap. Um, I follow them on YouTube, actually, NDN Link. They give good updates, a lot of volume in the last 24 hours, over $24 million. It's a real solid project. It's good to see Ontology Gas. If you own Ontology, like myself on Binance, they give you free ONG. So the volume last 24 hours, over 60 million, just Ontology Gas. 27, coin, 27 cents a coin, sorry. Up 62% in the last week. Very good to see. Um, Hydro is another one. Um, good DeFi project. It's dropped off the chart. It's dropped down the charts a lot. I do own some Hydro. Um, hasn't been really doing much in the last six months i've just held it on there and sort of forgot about it really but it's gone up a lot and it's a real good project for the future i believe and um, quant number 30 biggest gainers in the last seven days mentioned that last week's nearly ten dollars doing fantastic 47 percent it's gone up in the last seven days again i mentioned that last week how quant i really like the project again we'll go over block phone it's been some more news this week about quant so i really do think that is one 
that is just going to rise and rise quant. I say, I do own some quant as much as I'd like. I'd like to get some more. Um, will we have a bit of a drop off now? This is pumped so much in the last week. Who knows? I guess time will tell. Um, so moving on, Blockfolio Signal, their biggest signals, top Blockfolio signals of the past week. Interesting ontology integrates with Chainlink, another partnership, launches new wallet. Mentioned ontology many times, fantastic. The other news was Digibyte had a massive pump last week because it finally got listed on Binance. I spoke before about Digibyte, it's been around for so long, like 2014, but it's never been on like the huge exchange, on like Bittrex, but like the likes of Binance or Coinbase, it never got on it. And Binance have listed, and I, I believe they haven't charged them. Normally to go on Binance, you have to pay a listing fee, etc. There hasn't been any fees. So Digibyte is now on Binance. Fantastic for the project. Time will tell how much Digibyte climbs. NEM signal platform used in cannabis management and compliance. Quant network and SIA successfully test blockchain interoperability. Again, Quant is always in the news, always progressing. So I mentioned last week, mentioned this week, gone up all that percentage. So it really is a great project. And Band Protocol partners with crypto platform Math Wallet. So got a huge amount of news. You scroll down though, this is our, this was probably the best news for me. It was ontology integrates chaining two projects that I really really do like. Um, um, basically states there, Ontology success, successfully completed a native integration with Chainlink, a decentralized Oracle network that enables smart contracts to securely access off-chain data feeds, web APIs, and traditional bank payments. Absolutely wonderful. So it's great to see Ontology progressing. I said before, Ontology and Neo seem to have a competition. When one rises, the other one rises, but I personally believe Ontology is a really great project for the future. So... A huge amount of news this week. Disappointing news, obviously, with Wirecard and the Crypto.com debit card. Good rumours about PayPal. Let's hope that leads to something. Um, let me know if you want any help with anything, getting started with any of these exchanges, any of these coins that I mentioned. Email me at info at CryptoStrain.com. Help any way I can. Social media contacts are below. It'd be lovely to hear from you. Thanks very much. We'll speak soon. Cheers. Bye.